question for all of you. How important is authenticity? And what is authenticity? To me, is staying true to the region um, with whatever you're doing. I, I, I deal in food. So I just opened up a barbecue restaurant. Um, authenticity is extremely important to me. Let me interject. It's a Texas barbecue, which Texas. is different from uh, South Carolina barbecue, which is right. different from. <laughs> barbecue is very regional. Uh, like Italian food, it, no, no matter where you go, everybody swears by their barbecue. And I swear by mine. Uh, right now, it's actually not so much about the chef, it's more about the farmer. So what makes food delicious? And then if I check my list, it seems authenticity is not there. Yeah. And you have the concern about the balance of the taste, and then things should be healthy in some way, and traditionally acceptable, and also a little bit challenging. And then the two more um, um, current issues about um, food is one is actually go back to my, my story issue. The food needs to be have a story. That can be a social story, like talking about migrants, history. That can be kind of personal, like well, I went to maybe Cambodia and met somebody, and then I tried this one, and then I can share with my friends, and then they think this uh, add the value on the food. My experience with authenticity is actually knowing where your food comes from, being connected with the source, understanding the entire supply chain, the love and passion. Um, as a foreigner, people want to know where you're from. Um, I'm from Texas. No one wants to see a Texan cooking French food or Italian food. Um, it just it doesn't really make sense. So I'm giving people uh, a, a taste of, of where I come from and I want to be as true to that as I possibly can. Um, on the restaurant side, I don't see any authenticity of what I do either. It's very, very difficult because I'm, I'm Austin. I'm running a French restaurant and I'm Chinese <laughs> local. <Yeah. laughs> it's a very, very tough um, business. Let me warn you, it's my 20th year. I think you have to have the passion for it. You go beyond just money. The passion, the passion. Just to be able to create something. For me, authenticity has become has a different definition. More like, what is the soul food for a Hong Kong person? Like, my studio is in Kennedy Town, and I usually work too late, so I go to lunch at tea time where everything's discounted, and all the old people come out and have um, like the French toast drizzled with evaporated milk. To me, that's like the real authentic flavors. Uh, we publish a book on the Sun Wang. Because so many people are talking about Taiwan and salty fish, mushroom, dry products, and then, well, I think uh, we 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 might have to witness the disappearing because of the subway, because of the properties as you mentioned, mm -hmm. and or the the senior people working in these kind of small shops. So maybe we have to buy all these something in the supermarket just just choose according to the price. Mm -hmm. The family recipes or some kind of all like um, inherit orally uh, might disappear and on one hand um, it's not only the food we are not going to make the food but is uh, we will miss some kind of like intergeneration communications family histories 36 years ago I brought McDonald's to Hong Kong which label is junk food <laughs> but, so that's that's the bad side of me okay uh, introducing hamburger here. Uh, but the other side is on Chinese dry foods, which my family has been involved for 100 years. I mean, food is my hobby, and I can address most of the uh, questions, the issues raised. Even my first wife was from Paris, Texas. So, <laughs> <laughs> I believe I'm sorry. <laughs>